So as we come to the game, we've got several things here. Well, now I'm playing it, but... Shooter. Warp. Checkpoint. And the end of the map here. Congratulations. All right, so I'll first go to settings, change the name of your game, my game, change the name of a developer, change that to moi, change the game icon to whatever you would like it to be, and then, let me clear that up, then as you go, you have, let's just, so we've got the three buttons here. You've got the painter. If I click on any of this, I can put the painter and create multiple heroes, multiple platformers. I can use the eraser. I can erase that stuff. Looks like I can't erase any of the original stuff. Oh, I'm on the wrong level here. There we go. Now I can erase it all. It's fun to erase things. So then you push the button for what block you want or what do you want to draw. Click the paint tool and you draw it on there. Nothing too complex here. It's just kind of sometimes the pinch and the zoom is kind of wobbly. As you can see, I create stuff. So I always make sure I have the erase tool on whenever I pinch and zoom. That way it doesn't add automatically uh, draw things. Just a pro tip. Then you've got the layer button here. So if I want to draw um, the middle layer is everything that's being acted upon right now because everything is upon that middle layer. Now I'm going to draw something that's in the foreground so I should be able to pass through this. Let's double check. Woohoo. Okay, we'll stop. Erase it. And then going to erase those and then I'm going to do things in the background. That would be the, the last one. So I should be in front of this. So that's how you draw the different layers. You can get really creative with it. Um, seen a lot of fun things there. And we'll go more into that later. So first things first, you, got, you got all, obviously have all these different uh, automatic um, objects. So if you click on the menu button, you've got your block tile, your shooting player, your projectile, portals, spikes, checkpoint, spawner, finish line. Um, and as you click on them, there's four different options. You can, one, delete it. You can move it to the quick tab, which is going to be right here. And then you can also um, click on it to move it to a folder. You can create different folders. I can rename this as, let's just say, decorations. And then I can switch between folders to keep it easy, to keep everything uh, organized the way you'd like it. So let's go to block tile. Then you also have this at the bottom left corner. And you're able to edit your sprite at this point. So here is where You can do a lot of different things. Um, let me get rid of that as well. So you've got your your paint, you've got your eraser, got your undo button, your redo button, mirror it, rotate it, uh, copy, and you, in order to paste it, you need to add a new frame and paste. So now you got two different uh, frames going right now for your animation. So this is how you make it animated. So. Not a pro at this. Uh, let me go with this with real quick fill. Obviously, it fills one color. If you want to fill all of that color, fill by color. Uh, eyedropper tool. You want this to be that color, or you want to switch. Hey, I want that green color, exactly green color. Then you can draw more green color. Um, you can move it, so you can here or here. Sometimes the move move tool has been known to completely delete what I've been doing, but I think they fixed that in the recent update. Um, you can select a certain thing and then move everything that's inside of that and move everything out. Um, or you can just have this as a lovely animation here. And then as you push the setting button 
uh, on the individual frame, you can speed up the frame second or slow it down. So I want it to be quicker. So I want this to be quicker, I want this to be longer. So now it's a quick blip. I can also do that up here in the settings where I can make the animation speed go up or down. I don't know if there's a limit to that. I don't want to go there. But you can have some fun with uh, making the animations exactly how you would like it. I think default is five. Okay, you can also zoom in and really get detailed on just this individual spot, which makes it a lot of, which really helps out quite a bit. Uh, eyedropper tool, or I mean the, the color wheel, uh, needs some help uh, in my personal opinion, but you got a lot of different options. Um, so say I've got this red, there's obviously some different types of this style of red that you can find. Um, but let's just go here. Let's zoom out and let's just make, oops, why didn't I select it? Okay, check there for the red. Okay, so I got this red. Now, I don't like the, the way that it clashes with my other colors or what have you. Now, I want this to be a little bit lighter. So what I'm going to do is going to take the opacity of a different color. I'm going to make the, uh, my, uh, my red more yellow. So then I'm going to take this, I'm going to paint. You can't really tell on the red, but I'm going to paint it over multiple times just so you can get an idea of the changes of colors that happens as you paint that color. Now you can take that color that you want, say this middle one, and have that exact color exactly where you want it, exactly what kind of color you want. Now there's been one or two times that I haven't been able to duplicate that exact color. Let's see if I can do that right now. I'm going to do this. I'm just going to make this random color with a little bit of gray into it. I drop it. Oh, I can make it. Okay, that one's, I got that one. I'm going to do a little blue in it. I'm going to make this purplish. And I can copy that one. There's been one or two times that I haven't been able to make that exact same color, but I've been able to make it so far. So you can, there's really no complaints about the color palette. You can just pick whatever color you want and create your own color, um, which makes it kind of fun. I want that darker purple. Oh, there's one. There's an example. Oh, no, I did get the darker one, and I can make the lighter one. So the eyedropper tool is very critical, very important to use. Um, I use that one quite a bit. And then going through and just finding a certain color that I kind of want to start with, and then I'll uh, use the opacity to, to enhance it or to make it a little bit darker or a little bit lighter um, and kind of go from there. Make sure you have put the check. There we go. And then each time you click on it, it will make it that darker, or you will add more layers of that color. So you can kind of choose what sort of color you want to create. Say, I, like, I want uh, this darker one here. Yep, I can create it. If I want this lighter one, I can create it as I use the brush tool. The brush tool also has different uh, sizes. As you can see, let me switch colors. It's getting really pink. Turn my opacity up. Uh, same thing with the erase tool. I can erase a certain type, uh, different size. Now, the other thing that's very handy is also eliminating your background. So a lot of times I'll be coloring something with a little bit of gray, uh, just a little bit of gray, I said. And then as you go to the background, you kind of want to get rid of that. Uh, so it makes it nice to be able to, to get rid of that background. That way you can more clearly see what colors you've got. One other thing, um, if you have something erased all, all together, let me try to go to the zero, basic zero. If I've got a white color versus a, um, an erased, you'll kind of see, I'll do a little thing here. So if I've got this, this is white and this is erased. Kind of hard to tell a the difference. There is a little bit of shading difference between the two. Um, but as I draw that block tile, this is going to be super ugly. I'm gonna, so excited to share this. But it changes all those automatically. I don't know why it shouldn't be. But uh, the background is blue. And so you're able to see the white. Now, if I was going to change that, change my background 
to white, then there's a difference between it being erased and it being uh, see-through. See that made no sense whatsoever. I'll have to find a better way to explain that one. So you can get kind of crazy with different colors. Um, let me see if I can do... Let me see what I can do here. I'm going to delete you. Delete the extra frame. There we go. There we go. Oh boy, I'm drawing more. Great. I love this. 